Hi, this is Brown's beat writer, Nate Ulrich. I'm here in Berea. Just wrapped up the first practice of uh, training camp, and I'm just going to run through a few highlights and lowlights uh, from the first day. The highlight, really the, the number one thing, was everybody finally got to see Terrell Pryor out here with the Browns in his uniform, number 87, as a wide receiver. The first time he's tried that position in the NFL. And, you know, nothing spectacular happened, but it was pretty impressive just the way that he was able to catch the ball. He's got good hands. Um, you know, he caught a pass from Connor Shaw in 7-on-7. Seven seven. He caught one from Thad Lewis in 11-on-11. 11 11. He ran mostly with a third-team offense, and he certainly looks the part. Big, fast, strong. It's just going to be a matter of, you know, whether he's able to uh, fine-tune his route running, get off press coverage, those types of uh, important things. And th those are going to be, you know, the determining factors in whether he's going to be able to make the team. Another highlight was Alex Mack, who broke his left leg, the two-time Pro Bowl center, broke his left leg last October and was out for the season. And the running game really went in the toilet without him. He was out there uh, in team drills, which he was, he was doing throughout the spring. But, you know, to see it in training camp, it's ramped up another level. And it'll ramp up another level on Saturday when the team practices for the first time in pads, too. But he's out there. He's full go. That's a real positive for the Browns. Um, as far as the lowlights, uh, Johnny Manziel had a series from hell. Uh, he was working with the second team offense throughout the day while Josh McCown took the snaps with the first team as expected. And Johnny had a four play sequence in which he was sacked twice and then on the third play he threw it over the middle and was almost intercepted but it fell incomplete. The fourth one he had the ball uh, tipped, batted at the line of scrimmage by a defender. Uh, he also had a, a ball tipped later in the practice uh, by uh, defensive lineman John Hughes. So um, there was a rough patch there for Johnny Manziel. It's still the same story as it was last year with him when it comes to on the field. What we actually see, it's very inconsistent. He can make plays here and there, but then we see stretches uh, where he really struggles like that one. Uh, another low light, I think, was uh, Vince Maley, the uh, fourth-round rookie wide receiver from Washington State, dropped a couple passes. That was a problem for him in college. Uh, he had a lot of production, but drops, uh, you know, sometimes haunted him. And he's coming off uh, thumb surgery. He broke a thumb at the Senior Bowl, had surgery in May. So Mike Pettin kind of said, you know, I'm not really concerned about it. He kind of brushed it off as a non-issue and said his thumb's going to be sore at times. And, and that's true, I'm sure. He's recovering from that. But it, we also got to take into account the drops he had in college. So we'll keep an eye on his progress throughout training camp. We know the Browns really need playmakers in the receiving core. And it would be a big help if Vince Maley could become consistent, be a pleasant surprise, and if Terrell Pryor could make this phenomenal switch to wide receiver after spending five years in the NFL as a quarterback and all his time at Ohio State at quarterback as well. So those are kind of the, the, the main highs and lows from the first day of training camp, and I look forward to uh, providing more updates as camp wears on. Thanks a lot.